Hello and welcome to my series on learning dual wielding swords from Achille Marozzo. This week's exercise is quite complex, but also so much fun. So I hope you will enjoy it as much as I do. We start once again with our left leg forward and swords at our right. Like in the very first week, we will be agente, provoking our opponent with a false edge cut from our right to their hand. Marozzo doesn't describe it here, but you may as well again place your left sword under theirs, in case they try to thrust you. After that you will expose your upper body just a bit to give him yet another incentive to strike at you. Now, Marozzo says the following defense goes well against pretty much any strike, and that's indeed the case. But since we defend two times with crossed swords in this exercise, I'll first show you the variation against a strike to our left. Beat up your left sword with the false edge of your right. Then deliver a reverso with your right sword to their leg, while your left sword pushes their sword down and to your left into coda longa e alta. Remember that all strikes and guard positions are mirrored for your left. So you have your right leg forward left hand at your left, right hand at your right and point towards your opponent. Our opponent again attacks to our head, but this time we step to our left, crossing our swords once again, just with the left sword in a hanging position this time. So this, in my opinion, resembles the defense against a blow to our right. And since we are told to strike a mandrito with our right, it just makes so much sense, again, to put the false edge of your right under your left blade. Strike the mandrito with your right hand from your right side from head to toe. Then immediately retreat back with your left leg, while striking mandrito with your left hand, now from your left, into cingara porte di ferrostretta, while performing a half turn with your right into coda longa stretta. You end with your right leg forward and swords at your right. Also note the rotation of my hips and shoulders. Here our right shoulder and hip is quite a bit withdrawn in these positions. <laughs> so I really hope you give this exercise a try. I promise it's great once you figured it out. After you are fluent, don't forget to mirror everything and go for another round. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future episodes in the series and if you need any assistance let me know, I would be happy to help. For now, get out there and enjoy your training.